<laughs> we are back in Pattaya for the weekend, but here for tomorrow's live show. But I've got a couple of updates to do for you. First of all, we're on Soibakau here. We're sort of at the end towards Pattaya Thai, and we're outside Nikki's. And there's a reason why we're here. It's because Nikki's will soon be no more in this location. Um, I don't know why. I think they've had a few problems, but they've decided to build their own place. Now, opposite Nikki's, there's this alleyway, and the new place is just gonna be just here on the left. Let's go and have a look. Here you go, guys. This is gonna be the new Nikki's. So basically, they are building from the ground up a new building. Mr. David Simpson must have encouraged people to do that, or inspired, should I say. But yeah, this is where the new Nikki's is gonna be. It's gonna be much bigger. I think it's probably a better location, as in better for parking. There's more parking here. I'm pretty sure they'll possibly have some on-site parking for motorbikes, etc. You're looking at the new Nickies. I have no idea how long this is going to take to build, but if they're coming from the ground up, as we've encountered before, probably building regulations, etc. Pretty sure they'll be wanting to get it ready by high season. Here you go. The new Nickies that will be soon later on this year the next place i wanted to film is las vegas beer garden there has been a lot gone on since we last did a video i mean there was no there was virtually nothing up on the last one it has, it has had quite a few problems uh, but it seems to be coming together now and it's rapidly going up a bit of confusion on the car i see in the first video basically we hired this it's 1500 per day and we hired it for two weeks so it's two weeks it's 22,500. But I think it's a good deal. If, if you go to somewhere like Koh Chang, I always think it's vital to take a car. If there's going to be two of you or three or four of you, it's cheap. It's nothing, nothing to it. Yeah, if you're hiring it on your own, it can run up. It's a great car, by the way. They do have cheaper cars, Patai Car I. I'll leave a link in the description. They have much cheaper cars or they have more expensive cars. If you want the newer model uh, of this one, for example, I think this one's 2017. But if you want a newer model, the 2023 last year, I think you're going to pay 2,000 baht for that. But this one was good enough for me. It's diesel, excellent on fuel. I think we got to Bangkok and back on half a tank. Drove around Bangkok. I'm happy with it. Very, very happy. And the good thing about Patai Car I is the location of it on Pratham Nak Hill. Very, very, very handy because a lot of these places seem to be outside of Pattaya, which is a pain when you go drop them off or pick them up. So let's go and have a look at the progress of Las Vegas Beer Garden. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this, guys. This is <coughs> massive progress here. <laughs> Look how high that is. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> how many meters? Was that nine meters? Yeah, just over, I think now, yeah. Wow. That seems really high. Yeah, they go back later. It's to do with the um, the distance. I think we talked about in the last yeah, video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To do with the distance thing. So provisionally to get the roof up, yeah. we've obviously placed it slightly indent in. Okay, okay. And then they will Oh, be... so it's going to be moved back. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's to do with the city hall checking things, making sure that they're acceptable uh, to yeah, move back yeah. into the outer perimeter of the roof. Well, but to get the roof up, that's what we've had to do. Well, this is the first time now I can actually see it. We've been coming here for the last couple of months. Yeah. And Tell me about you've it. had loads of problems, but wow, it's going up very fast now. Yeah, I mean, I think with all construction generally, this has been a, a challenge. Not, not, not as big as, say, what I've had in the Middle East, where you're building massive floors and yeah. shell and core, but certainly with the red tape um, getting over the line. But it's how you overcome the obstacles. I know it sounds cliche, but it, it's how you na navigate around and make sure we get what we want. Because we're not killing anyone. We're trying to get employment. We're trying to improve the tourist industry here. And it, we'll do our little bit, you know what I mean? It's but as you can see here, we started the uh, carcass for the shipping containers, the cocktail bars. Um, they started today and all the corrugated will be done next week as well. And then, as you can see, all of the framework on the left, that's ready to put all the metal paneling on uh, Monday. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, a lot of the structural stuff is, as you see, I mean, I know Dan will do the clips, but, you know, toilets in, bridges are here, all the chairs at the back. Um, yeah, it's all just dropping in nicely. The bars are going in as well. Yeah, um, the feedback I've had is they're big bars. I'm like, oh, they are, okay, fair. We probably could have put more, more once, bars once, in. But... Once you've got everything, and once you've got a seating and everything in the tables, it, it, it gets smaller, everything gets smaller. Yeah. What, what yeah, surprises me, point. though, is what I, is the height of this. I feel like I'm in some huge bong or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a big warehouse, isn't it? Well, yeah. An airplane warehouse, it's massive. <laughs> well, it's future-proof. That was the thing I've said before. It's about future-proofing because we then enable, if we want to, put a mezzanine. Yeah. So if anything we wanted to, around the back of the ship containers, we can add stairways up 
and have a mez pool like some of the so nightclubs have. When you say this shipping container here, what, what, what was so that? This is the cocktail bar where we'll have okay. an open front um, and you know, be obviously seating in the front of it as well. Yeah. But it'll be shipping container design, all graffitied over with logos and branding. Looking absolutely totally different than the last time oh, we yeah, came well, in. We're here, plus, three weeks. It's, it's raining, yeah? Yeah. But we're not getting wet anymore. <laughs> no, no, no. And things, the thing is, I know it sounds really weird. I know it's cooler today, but the last two days we've been here, it's when we hit. It's quite cool because the roof is white. Yeah. Not yeah. many it's people do it, it white. You know, but metal. They do it black. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, well, as we all know, that absorbs the sun. But it's amazing how actually cool it is in here already. But the aircon guys are here anyway. They're well, the I, I remember kit. it from being in here when there was no roof on it, and it's one of the hottest places in yeah. in Pattaya. Yeah. Sahara Desert, isn't it? Sahara Desert, Sahara Desert. Well, yeah, sure. I mean, it's raining, so it is cool anyway today, but once you've got the aircon in, there's nothing better than a high, a high roof for aircon. It, it drops. Yeah, because the way we've designed the engineering work, the aircon will actually be set around about 4.5 meters. Right. Is so it, obviously it's pushing air down, the heat will- It's not standard be, aircon units, is it? It's no, no, these are, air, these are sort of uh, what you get in airports. Yeah, yeah. They are, all, there's 100,000 BTU each kit, there's eight of them. Or the, the Icon so, Siam. Yeah, oh yeah, like the Icon Siam, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's coming along now. Nicely, we just, you know. I suppose these pillows here, I know you say you're going to move them back, but I don't think they're in the way at the moment. No, as, not, as no, in not too bad. The, the bars, the, you know, the, the bars are in between them, so I don't think it uh, yeah. would be that much of a problem if they but were But we've got the choice, because we may have to open with it, or we may not, depending on the permit. Um, but ultimately, we, we've got flexibility, and yeah. that modular view of everything. Because you know yourself, you can have a big massive open bar, and fill it with 50 people and it's still empty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we do we want to have that coziness? Maybe, if we don't. I, I'm big on line of sight. Wherever you, and you know that in the go-go, wherever you sat, you've got a view. Yeah. It shouldn't be like some of these football stadiums where you're behind a pillar and you can't see I've the seen, game. I saw you. See the Everton that. stadium. That is, yes, and you, I was just about to mention <laughs> Everton's new stadium. And there's a wall and there's a, the seats behind the wall. I mean... Yeah, he's, li he's literally <laughs> there, isn't he, in the wall, and it's like... The yeah, you've got to look around the wall. That's ridiculous. Yeah, so that's stadium. what I'm on about, all this. So someone sat over there, probably can't quite see the stage. But again, they still get the environment of the music, the, the atmosphere, the sound. It, it, it should be fine. Um, but yeah, the big sign um, yeah, also... Makes, is, that, um, is that part of the big sign? Yeah, it's part of the big sign that goes up, and then the framework goes on the top, and it leaches out nice. the pictures I've shown you. This so. is the one that's cost a fortune. Yeah. yeah, I know you don't want to men mention no, prices. I don't mind, I don't mind talking but price, but yeah. Just yeah. one sign, 400,000 baht? 440,000, yeah. 440,000, wow. <laughs> Made to last. As you say, when you look at the go-go, that stuff's the same. This is LED, yeah? Yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's LED, but it's, a, it's, a, it's like a metal containment, which yeah. obviously makes it watertight, but it's not tubular, <laughs> so it won't burn out with the sun. It's, yeah, you know, yeah. LED doesn't burn out with the sun. So, so yeah, but that going in next week, they've sent me pictures today, actually, I'll send them on. But you've got the live music strip going down. It's yeah. all, suck of it, same guys we use on D-Design. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah. good. We'll really just take you there before, guys. Opening dates, are we pushing back or are we? Yeah, we I, I actually took feedback from some of the tenants that said the difficulty, as you and I know, is getting staff to change job mid-month. Yeah. So I think now we're sort of saying we could soft open some earlier than March, but if not, we'll aim for the 1st of March yeah. as a hard date so that then everything's in place for them. Um, ultimately, they've got to get licenses as well, their own alcohol licenses, and it takes time. Um, and of course, we've got a few more to sell, and some people, they want to see it. Pretty sure anybody interested when they're seeing this now, they'll of course, uh, they believe. Look at it, look at it, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so realistically now, um, uh, it gives us a sort of two week uh, breather in a way, yeah. um, just to fine tune, say audio, visual, and aircon start officially Monday, they need two weeks. Yeah, so in actual fact, it's probably going to sit quite right. I mean, nice first of the month. So you think it's going to be April to the third? No, 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 first of first of March. First of March? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, you put your neck on the line there. Mm -hmm. um, one other thing, can you mention any of the brands, the names that have bought places in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So all the logoing and everything is all is taken from. So I've already consulted. So see what people don't always understand in a place like Asia is they're not always seeing the West. So like Macau is great for the Chinese, isn't it? Great for Hong Kong yeah, and everything yeah. else. So they see that and think, I'll go to Vegas as well, because <coughs> it's a reciprocal thing. So any sort of branding, any sort of, um, I mean, let's be honest, like big sports brands copied here, used here. Yeah, I didn't mean um, that. What, what, but, I was, what I was getting at, uh, there's a couple of well-known bars in the area, or go-go's in the area, that have bought units here. Can you mention them? Or? How do you mean, sorry? What do you mean? I can't say, can I, if you're, if you're not going to say. I mean, there's a couple of established brands in the area that have already bought units here. 
Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> not at the moment, no. No, they, they <laughs> okay. prefer. Once, once everything's public, they will yeah, yeah, then yeah. join in and... But the big brands, guys, the big brands, so it's got credibility to it. Yeah, 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 definitely. Right, Looking David, good. thank you very much for the update. Um, it is completely different than the last time I saw it. Uh, it looks different with a roof on, for a start. But I'm surprised how high it is. I don't, you know, it's going to be uh, <laughs> crikey, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's about 20. I think minutes, like but... anything, isn't it? And you can tell the story, but until you see it and go, oh, right, I see what you mean now. And you've yeah, got yeah. credibility, people believe it. But here it's like, listen, this is going to be a monster. You, you drive up straight down this way, you see the roof. You look down LK. So I've just bought the uh, you know the sign there. Yeah. On there, I've just bought that sign. We'll put something on the top of that over the LK sign. Okay, as well. you bought this one here. Yeah, the one where champagne was the champagne wording. Uh, right. Champagne no longer at the moment. Yeah, so yeah. We took that sign. We'll design something and put something to affiliate the GoGo as well as the beer garden. Yeah, yeah, ways. yeah. That'd be good then. That's, that's good. Uh, Right, David, thank you very much. Uh, guys, by the way, um, as this video is uploaded, we should be arriving in Chiang Rai, if I'm right on this one, if Dan gets it edited. So, uh, noise going on. So, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, look out for videos from Chiang Rai. David, thank you. Cheers, guys. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it.